So I've previously talked about why the PRO Act is so important on this channel before, but for those of you unfamiliar with this legislation and specifically what it would do to promote unionization, I want to read to you real quick this paragraph from a Jacobin article written by Mindy Iser who explains why this is so important. She explains the PRO Act is the most sweeping pro-labor legislation in decades. It would effectively end anti-union right-to-work laws currently on the books in 28 states, institute financial penalties on employers that retaliate against workers who organize, prohibit employers' captive audience meetings, require employers to bargain a first contract in good faith, repeal the prohibition on secondary boycotts, an instrument of worker solidarity banned since the late 1940s, and bar employers from permanently replacing strikers. So needless to say, this is incredibly important. It is crucial. This could be a game changer for worker rights in the United States of America. And it passed the House of Representatives in early March. The president, Joe Biden, supports this legislation. So the question is, what's going on? What's the holdup? Well, of course, the Senate is still needing to pass this. And it hasn't yet passed because there are a number of holdouts within the Democratic Party who are against it. Can you take a guess as to who those holdouts are? Of course, it's the usual suspects. Kirsten Cinema, of course, being one of them. And after she gleefully voted down a $15 an hour minimum wage, she joined her pals Rami Manuel and Joe Manchin to headline an event for the National Restaurant Association, which, for those of you who don't know, this is a lobbying group who's against unions, who's against the $15 an hour minimum wage. And this is who Kirsten Cinema is palling around with. And after she did all of that, after she stuck it to workers, she then posted a picture of herself on Instagram sipping on a drink with another coded message to uh, workers, I'm guessing. Fuck off. So if it wasn't already bad enough that these ghouls refuse to support policies that would help struggling Americans, Kirsten Cinema goes out of her way to make matters worse and throw it in your face that she doesn't care that you're struggling, right? She gleefully votes down the minimum wage and after receiving backlash, she puts on a ring that says, fuck off, presumably to all of the haters, the haters who dared to pressure her to do her job and represent the people who voted her in office. It's it just, it's insufferable. It's ridiculous. So when she's that brazen, when she refuses to support anything in spite of public backlash, the question is, is there any usefulness in even trying to put pressure on her? And the answer to that is yes, because guess what? Even though she's resistant to change, even though she's wearing her cute little rings and colorful hats, and she's trying to tell you to go fuck yourself if you're mad at her for voting down a $15 an hour minimum wage, public pressure does work. Because Angus King, who was against the PRO Act, received a lot of public pressure, lots and lots of calls to his office, and guess what? He had a change of heart. And even Kirsten Cinema's buddy, Joe Manchin, all of a sudden announced on Monday that he too is having a change of heart. But don't take my word for it, take his word for it. I'm pleased to announce that I am co-sponsoring the PRO Act. 50% of unions fell in their first year of organizing. This legislation will level the playing field. I look forward to working with my colleagues on both sides of the aisle to move this bill through a legislative process. Now, does that sort of look like a hostage video? Yes. Um, regardless, though, of the presentation, pressure works. One by one, we are chipping away at the holdouts. And now it's the case that there's only a couple of holdouts left. And as Ken Klippenstein explains, those three individuals include Kirsten Cinema, Mark Warner, and Mark Kelly. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to join the cause and put pressure on these folks because this is unacceptable. If Kirsten Cinema isn't supporting a $15 an hour minimum wage, that's terrible. She needs to change her mind on that. But to not support the PRO Act means that you don't want them to have a high wage and you don't even want them to have the opportunity to negotiate their wages because currently with this employer-employee dichotomy that we're seeing, it doesn't give workers any leverage at all. But having unions actually levels the playing field at least a little bit. So we're going to demand that these folks actually change their mind. So you can give Kirsten Cinema a call at 202-224-4521. Mark Warner's phone number is 202-224-2023. Mark Kelly's phone number is 202-224-2235. And whenever I share phone numbers, I get some messages from folks saying, look, I appreciate the fact 
that public pressure actually does make a difference, but I'm a little bit awkward. I'm a little bit nervous to speak to anyone. Here's what I'll say. Most of the time, I'd say nine times out of 10, when you call these numbers, you get directed to voicemail, so you can leave a voice message. It's a lot less pressure, but really, you're just going to speak to a staffer. You're never going to actually talk to the senator themselves, uh, and they're just going to take down your message, right? It's it's not bad. I'm going to call Kirsten Cinema because she's the one who's gotten on my nerves the most um, on camera just to kind of give you a little template as to what uh, you can say. It really, I mean, I don't even know what I'm going to say as I call, but it's not... There's not really much pressure to just calling and leaving a message or telling the staffer that you demand that they support a policy like the PRO Act that's important for workers. Thank you for calling the office of Senator Kirsten Cinema. Please leave a brief message with your name. Doesn't even go to a person. And we will get back to you as soon as we can. Thank you and have a great day. <laughs> Hi, uh, I know that Kirsten Cinema doesn't like poor people. In fact, she hates poor people and she takes every opportunity she has to rub it in our faces that she doesn't care about us. And I, I know that she probably gets off on the fact that poor people are starving and dying across this country because she refuses to, to support policies that help people. But if she could just do one thing, it would make a huge difference in the lives of her constituents and Americans all across the country. If she co-sponsored the PRO Act, that would be a game changer for worker rights in America. And if she can't even support basic legislation that does the bare minimum to embolden workers a little bit in this country, then why is she even there? What is the point of her being an elected official? Why is she a Democrat? Just join the Republicans. I mean, she was against the $15 an hour minimum wage and gleefully voted it down. But if you can't even support the PRO Act, I mean, unions are supposed to be the Democratic Party's bread and butter. This is a former Green Party member. If she can't support the PRO Act, then, uh, not only are we going to do everything in our power to defeat her in the next election, but we will continue to apply pressure on her until she buckles because it is inexcusable that any Democrat would be against the PRO Act, would be against the right to organize in the United States of America. And I know that she's going to have to check with her donors first because they really don't like the fact that she'd do anything to support workers, but she needs to at least do this one thing if she wants the pressure to be a little bit less on her. So um, tell her that we demand she supports this. Otherwise, we will make sure that her career comes to an end in the Senate. Thank you very much. Uh, I would recommend that you be more concise than me. I always end up just ranting whenever I call politicians. But, you know, the message is support the PRO Act. You could just call and say, I demand that Senator Sinema supports the PRO Act. And that's it. You can hang up. It's that simple. So public pressure works, and we've got to make sure to even do small things like this to try to get their attention and move them in the right direction.